you've arrived! I'm honored that the Castis would accept my humble request. Ah. Your Atlas, I take it. In the flesh. I thank you for coming to see me. I'm sure you're very busy. The burden my father gave you is not a light one. Your messenger told me it was urgent. Gravely urgent, indeed. Well, here I am. It's my brothers, the Archons. They have issues with the human populations under their control. Tensions between Isu and humans are mounting. Without order, the problems will grow severe. I'll try and use my position to help them where I can. Find Hadiros, Amphiris, and Azeas. Through your shining example, I hope they learn the valuable lessons in discipline they so desperately need. And if I help them, you're hoping it'll maintain the peace between Isu and humans. That's the plan. Poseidon should have known they weren't ready for the responsibility an Archon bears. But that's his failing. Tell me about Gaviros. You'll find him near the arena, hard at work planning his next exhilarating spectacle, I'm sure. What should I know about Amphiris? He's probably off terrorizing people near the fortified Doma of Ochtonos. Make sure you don't sneak up on him. He's quite jumpy. What about Azais? Who is he? You'll find dear Azais wherever there is humanitarian work to be done. I heard there were some issues near the Doma of Amphiris. We have Archons where I'm from. Do they fulfill the same duties? They are charged with overseeing and ruling the humans of Atlantis. Ensuring all live comfortably and peacefully. A job at which I fear they're failing. There always seems to be unrest between the two races. The Underworld and Elysium were no different. Time passes and tensions keep building. I expected my father to handle it. But Atlantis grows steadily worse, and no one wants to see what could happen if precautions are not taken. I'll find the Archons, and make sure their problems are taken care of. Castis! Thank the stars. I was beginning to lose all hope. Atlas said you needed help. You don't understand the responsibility on my shoulders. It's my job to concoct entertainment for the masses. But I fear the crowd have grown bored of my grand spectacles. I've seen some good plays. And some bad ones. We need more than a simple play. If the audience leave my shows bored and restless, who knows what they'll start plotting? You think they'll become violent? My purpose is to keep them preoccupied so they can't be violent. If your shows have become boring, you just need to get more creative. <sighs> the humans are primitive. Their taste's basic. They like life's simpler joys. Blood, tragedy, Romans, that sort of thing. So give the people what they want. What they want, yes. Yes. I can hear the cheers now! The legendary Dicastis Cassandra takes on Atlantis' finest warriors! You must take part in my next event! Sounds like a Bangration. I can definitely help with that. Not exactly. But I was inspired by your efforts in Elise. I know you'll do an exemplary job entertaining the crowds as you did then. If we pull this off, we'll be the talk of the city! It's worth a try. Welcome one, welcome all to yet another miraculous show here in our beloved city. Tonight we have a very special guest. Davi Castis of Atlantis is here to entertain you. Our hero's first talent comes from the world of Atlantis. Entertaining. This is definitely not. 
nota Pangratium. Our valiant hero's next talent's fast approaches. A champion bested by none in the city. No mercy, no guilt. Will this be too much for even the Dicasis to overcome? has been bested! Our mighty Vicastis is victorious and the crowd have spoken! But will she show mercy or will she spill the blood we want? If you don't appease the crowd, I fear what Gadiros will do. It was an honor to fight you, Vicastis. You fought honorably. A fitting end to a glorious life spent this service to you, the audience. Now, on to the grand finale. And here we are, the end of today's event. Next to face our Dicastis' judgment, the very scum that taints our city. By the gods, what is this? For the good of Atlantis. Today, bear witness to the guilty and condemned given one final chance at redemption. They will be honored to die at the hands of our guest. Enough! I am not doing this. Mm. Uh, fear not, friends. We will make sure justice is delivered. Well, that was an unmitigated disaster. You said fight, so I fought. The problem is that I didn't say fight. I said be as entertaining as possible. This won't help the relations between your people. The humans will see what's going on eventually. The games have failed. The humans are restless and it's only a matter of time before they make their own entertainment. Their hunger for violence is insatiable. You just need to keep surprising them. Think like a human, not an issue. That's what I tried to do. But you showed the criminals mercy, and the crowd reacted as I expected. Killing people who can't defend themselves isn't entertainment, it's slaughter. Their sacrifice helps us keep the peace and maintain order. Or it would have if you played along. What are you saying, Radirus? That my grand experiment has failed. There's nothing left to be done but start again and try for better results. The arena must be cleared! This is madness. Ah! <laughs> 
must be Amphiris. Let her pass. Amphiris, if this is how you treat humans, I can see why you need so many guards. These aren't humans. They are animals. An animal should be in cages. I'm sure everything you do isn't without reason. But if you didn't call them animals, you might get a better reaction. A human did this to me while I slept. When they came to kill me, I survived. But they slaughtered my daughter like an animal. Humans don't act with logic or reason. Good or bad, they are driven by a will to survive. A trait we implanted to ensure efficiency. But that will become a kindled flame of insurrection. You led a rebellion yourself in Elysium. So I know you understand. If we don't act, the city will burn and many more lives will be lost. I don't see an army marching on Poseidon. This one said they plan to launch an attack. Someone needs to destroy the resistance before that happens. That's not a small request. Despite what you think, all humans aren't a threat. It is the only path I see. But you are the Dicastis. Only you can choose the correct course of action. Killing people will just make the fire spread faster. Now, if we destroy their supplies and their weapons, they can't oppose the issue. I admire your optimism. But I fear it will not be enough. However, it's your decision to make. Just leave it to me. I'll send a message they won't forget. Very well. You'll find the traitorous humans at an abandoned farmstead. Return to me when the situation is resolved.
The Castis. I'm glad to see you return safely. I almost considered sending a regiment of my guard after you. That would have been overkill. You can never be too careful when dealing with violent humans. Come, tell me, has the resistance been quashed? I killed the leaders. With them gone, their movement is dead. Ah, a sound strategy. But I fear the problem exists at the heart of humanity itself. Another leader will rise eventually. I know you don't trust them, but the humans will never challenge the issue directly. You are like gods to them. You must see that. It is an illusion we have tried to nurture already. But it won't last. However, for now you've done what was needed. One more Archon to go. Maybe I should just do their jobs, too. Archon? We have to stay here a little longer. The Archon said you have the cures. What have I missed? What must I do? Zeiss? You have your hands full. Vigastis, you're a welcome sight. The only one I've had in some time. So many sick. I'm surprised anything can spread in a place as advanced as this. Oh, it's shocking. Nothing I have tried will cure the sick or stop the pathogen spreading. I've lost so many already. When did you first notice people were getting sick? At the start of this cycle. It began quite slowly, and I didn't think much of it. But then the cases grew rapidly, day by day. The more that fell sick, the faster the pathogen spread. You seem really worried. Have you ever seen a sickness like this before? No. There are many odd phenomena during this cycle. Plant dying, strange insects, and animal attacks. I worry about what this could signify. Don't worry. We'll find a way to stop the sickness. Tell me what you need. Well, there was a device being worked on by a scientist named Consus. Its intention was to rapidly heal injuries and eradicate disease. Was? His device is missing. Scientists here have tried to replicate it based on the schematics, but it's still in the experimental phase. And it hasn't been tested on humans. So it may not work. That's not the biggest issue. Poseidon has outlawed the use of our technology on humans. I fear that if we don't act quickly, the pathogen will spread across Atlantis. If you think this healing device can help the sick, then I'll make sure that you have it. The wisdom of an issue, but the compassion of a human. You were a good choice for the Gustis. You'll find the device in one of the issue laboratories in the Consus archive. The device as Ace wants must be inside.
Atlantis. This can be used to create weapons. I have to find this place. device. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Huh? I've brought the uh, glowing cloth you've asked for. It's a nanotech matter regenerator, in fact. But you have it. I can't believe it. did you do? I thought I had calibrated correctly. Oh no, what have I done? I killed this poor human. The device doesn't work and you stole it against Poseidon's laws. What do we do now? This device is your only chance of stopping the sickness. You need to keep trying. Yes, you're right. Not trying will just mean more innocent lives are lost. I think if I make some adjustments, I can get it to function on humans correctly. Everyone seems to be looking much better. Well, almost everyone. The device still needs work, but it has incredible potential. Poseidon won't be happy that we broke his law, but I'm glad you were the one to do it and not me. In any case, I'm eternally grateful for your help. Thank you. The Castis! Welcome back! I'm glad you could be here to witness this momentous occasion. Why are the Archons in chains? I invited my dear siblings here for one final lesson in leadership. It looks like an execution to me. Every experience in life should be a lesson, including death. You've been to the underworld, so I know you understand what these fools do not. You asked me to help the Archons. I did. Their problems are solved. Their problems only existed because they couldn't perform the duties their roles demanded! You're going to murder your brothers? For what? For order, for peace, 
For Atlantis! For Atlas, you mean. I am the rightful heir to Atlantis. I should be the Dicastis. I cannot defy Poseidon's will, but these fools don't deserve their power. I'll be a better Archon in their stead. Killing your brothers is a waste. Teach them to learn from their mistakes, and they'll do whatever you say. They can't do that if they're dead. I watched you help my brothers. You always found solutions that tried to preserve life. Some of my kind view humans as a resource to be sacrificed. If we want them to progress, we must be an example. We all look up to someone. I think they look up to you. Wise, Dicastis. I respect your decision. For the moment. So what now? If you're going to one day rule the city, Cassandra, you're going to have to learn a very important lesson. That's what I get for helping you? A lecture? Just some words of advice. Nothing in Atlantis is what it seems at face value. The city is old, and those that call it home are even older. You have helped me, Dicastis. And for that, you have my thanks. This isn't over, Atlas. On the contrary, I'm done here.